For review this weekend, we want to remember the importance of Memorial Day and honor those who serve and those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. And joining Capitol Review is John Burns with Concerned Veterans of America. John, welcome back. Thank you for having me, Mark. I'm always happy to be back. Question number one, what does Memorial Day mean to you? Well, as a veteran of conflict zones in combat, I've, you know, I've lost people. And I always, as a kid, grew up thinking Memorial Day was kind of important. It wasn't just about, you know, backyard barbecues and the kickoff of summer and sales. But the first time I lost somebody overseas, it really hit home. Getting home that next year and celebrating Memorial Day, suddenly there was a name to put on, on that holiday. And, you know, over the years, there were more and more names. Why is it important to get the true meaning of Memorial Day right? Well, you know, you can look at the recruiting crisis in this country and wonder if little things like Memorial Day not being as important just kind of slowly erode the kind of institutions and the, the, the trust we had in each other in a society 75, 80 years ago when we were fighting in World War II. So it's really important that that, that civil-military connection begins to heal. Because when we need to call on young men and women to fight overseas, they really need to know that the country cares about them. 20 years ago, everybody had a yellow ribbon on their car, and again, you know, we've gotten from there to a recruiting kind of crisis. You know, John, it's not uncommon for some people uh, to think that Memorial Day and Veterans Day is kind of the same, when they couldn't be anything further. Well, they both. I work with a lot of veterans at Concerned Veterans for America. Every day I'm talking to veterans. Most of the staff or much of the staff are veterans. And there is an intent that overlaps there, right, to honor those who've made a sacrifice. The difference is that on Memorial Day, we honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice. On Veterans Day, we, we remember those who are still amongst us and celebrate the fact that they're here amongst us and that, you know, folks like myself and my friends have served as a kind of model that you can step up and serve your country. I remember I'm telling you the story before we started here that I was listening to the radio last Memorial Day and the DJ uh, was just talking about, hey, happy Memorial Day, and they had all kinds of, you know, bells and whistles going. And I really wanted to call in and say, hey, that's not, this is not how we honor Memorial Day, you know, and I just wonder what has to happen so that we have a better understanding of the true meaning of Memorial Day. Does it start in the school systems? Well, when I was a kid, you know, we were taught that the sacrifice of soldiers was what we celebrated on Memorial Day. We had two different holidays for the presidents. We, we learned a history that honored our, our heritage and honored the sacrifices that men, may, men and women now make and have made throughout the, the decades and two centuries of our existence. So it, it, it's a solemn holiday. That DJ, I'd invite him to come up here on Monday and uh, go to the Arlington National Cemetery and watch the ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and maybe he'll realize it's not such a happy day. What is appropriate for Memorial Day? Is it okay for folks to gather, uh, uh, for family gatherings and things like that? What Absolutely. It's, it, it's a respite. It does mark the beginning of summer. It, it, it has a value, but all you have to do is take a moment on Monday and just remember that the freedom that you have to have that barbecue came at the hands of folks who gave the ultimate sacrifice to America. John Burns, thank you very much for joining us on Capitol Review. Always great to be on.